Coming down to three to go. Come on. Try and get a top five. Ooh, we sent her deep. I thought I was about to turn Harvick into the wall. Gave him a little tap. Took the inside. Oh no. Greetings, my name is Smithers, and we're on to round number 10 of my rookie season on NR2003. Today we're using the CRT cars again, we're bringing them back after a three week hiatus and going back to the Gen 4 car. We're on to the first mystery track of the custom schedule that I whipped up for this season. We'll see it here in a second, but first I want to recap what a great race Talladega was because we achieved our first victory. Now, we took the green flag back in 34th position, we did not get a good qualifying run. We had terrible single car speed. Lap 11, first incident that took place, uh, leaders were taking green flag pit stops, which triggered the first caution because Kenseth and a bunch of other guys way in the back of the pack were completely unaware of the call being made, and they didn't get checked up in time and caused a bit of an accident, and Kyle Busch got whipped into the outside wall. I overshot my pit box, came in 7th, and came out freaking 19th. And with about 9 laps to go in the race, I had just worked myself back up into the top 10, just moments before I thought my race was completely annihilated when me and the 96 car slightly gave each other a little smoochy smooch and he got sent down into the trioval taking MTJ with him and they cannonballed themselves right back up into the field taking out nearly everyone behind me. We also took some heavy driver door damage from the 96 car. Luckily we saved it and kept her straight and held onto our position. But what surprised me is a lot of the leaders stayed out and um, I was staying out too even with that damage. I was not giving up any more track position. We restarted with three laps to go and Labonte immediately threw a block on Gordon who was looking on the high side and it left my sneaky ass a door open on the inside to get by both of them and I had enough momentum to pull vault myself up next to the two car who was the leader and I got by him I'm exiting turn two and as we were coming around the track to take with two to go all those guys that I just worked passing by and getting ahead of threw it down pit road I have no idea why they didn't come down during that caution but everyone came down but me and Newman and it became a two horse race between us with two laps to go I threw every block in the book every fucking move on him to keep him behind me and it worked out we held off the prowling Penske number 12 Dodge for our first victory at Talladega our first victory in this series to leaving one of the most unpredictable tracks and coming out on top let's go to a mystery track and do a little short track race and a little local short track racing we're going to myrtle beach baby now I wanted to show you guys this page real quick because I bumped up the race length percentage because the 15% was only doing 30 laps and to me that wasn't enough for a video. So we bumped it up to 30%, 60 laps. And I did bump the AI difficulty down to 92%. That was like at least peak for my skill range at the moment to keep things competitively relevant and not boring. That's all I wanted to show. Let's go hit this new track. This is one of my favorite NR tracks. Here is the 2018 version of Myrtle Beach Speedway, or as I like to call it, Myrtle Turtle Bitch, made by Smith Sten, also known as the Short Track Development Team. The other names that are listed on the, um download page and the link for where the download is will be in the description of uh, the video down below. Giving credit to everyone and anyone who worked on this amazing ass fucking track because it races good and it's one of my favorite NR tracks to run laps on. It's It runs great, it runs smooth. Hats off to these guys. Anyway, let's move on to qualifying. I hope we can keep our consistent short track speed that we've been doing. We've been qualifying pretty good on the short tracks. We just can't hold up that speed in the races. We usually get run over fall back quickly, get involved in some shit, or we just piss everyone off. So let's see which option we got today. Hopefully it's a clean race and we stay up front. Keep this consistency and keep the momentum going after our first victory. Pretty damn good qualifying run for a number 10 Valvoline Dodge. Qualified 7th, so we kept our top 10 consistency on qualifying on these short tracks. Rival Kurt Busch qualified on the outside of me. Jeff Gordon got your pole again. MTJ second on the outside row. Here's the rest of your starting grid for you. I love how they got these cars set up on the front stretch. Y'all, it looks so good. Lights are on. Nighttime at Myrtle Beach. The one time I took a vacation to Myrtle Beach, I was only a few blocks away from this place. Never actually got to see it. Anyway, let's get the green flag. It's a good night for some local short track racing. This Myrtle Beach Speedway provides some awesome racing. Got a great starting spot. Hoping we can hang on to top 10 finish. Back up our win. 
Green's out here at Myrtle Beach. Oh, Jared didn't get going. Neither did Gordon. Let's see if we can get a jump on these guys. Oh, you didn't give me room. Uh-oh, that might, oh, they're wrecking in front of me too. We're up into fourth after lap one. There was a pretty chaotic fucking lap. I was bumping into Jarrett because he wasn't giving me fucking room and Boyer was wrecking cars in front of us. Trying to get around the outside of Gordon, block him off, slot down into the third. Get on the inside of Matt, maybe. Truex is gone. He's got a fantastic car tonight already, it's showing. Me and Matt are fighting for second place. This is what I mean, though. This track provides great fucking racing. Boyer's gonna try and stick a nose in on me. Trying to get back on the inside of Matt. He's gonna clear me into three. Boyer's in my back bumper. Shove me into Kenza. Through that antsy, buddy. Go on ahead. I run up here. Oh, I got up high a little bit. Oh, I'm in the wall. Oh, we gave up some spots there. We can get back in it though. We're all clustered up together there. Couple of guys in the pits getting some repairs from that early contact on lap one. No caution was brought out. Oh, slow dicks already causing a problem. That might help out for the entire race. Try and gain back what I lost. I was all the way up there fighting for second place before I got into the wall. Trying to get my nose in on Gordon. He's gonna get me on the exit. This is one of the better COT cars we've had. But I said that at Bristol too. And uh, our splitter ate concrete. And then we ate shit. I can dive it in pretty deep into three. And hang on to the same line Gordon is. If I enter in a little bit higher on one, I can get a bit of, a bit of a momentum boost on the outside. Don't know if that works in these corners. But if I pinch him in, he can't get a runoff. Oh, Johnson's here. And we're back in the wall. Damn it, back to where we started again. I know if I send it in there just right and I carry it on that outside white line, like just straddling over it. Oh, well, we got a caution. Oh, 14 to Sterling Marlin in the wall. Circle back around to the yellow flag. Yeah, 18 laps on fuel. Tires are okay. Oh, everyone's coming down. We're coming down. We're coming down. Looking for the 10. Looking for the 10. We qualified well, so I imagine we're up here a ways. There we are. We're on a cur oh, well, I'll let you go, buddy. I hope Hamlin gets out of here before I fucking have to. I don't know how I'm going to get by him. Can oh, yeah. Fuck. And of course, when he's gone, well, we got some ground to make up, damn it. Shit! That's always right in the moment. It wasn't for fucking Hamlin. I knew if I were to try to pull forward, it's not like I racing where you'll just phase right through him. I'll run into the back of him. I've done that enough times. To, what the hell's going on down there? Oh, they must be waiting for the leaders to go by. But back to what I was saying, though, like, oh, I, like, crank this analog stick all the way over to the right, and that's not enough for the car to, like, steer around Hamlin. I legit have to short pit in my box, which either I have not mastered that concept yet on this controller, or it's just not possible with the controller to turn around the car ahead of you. Because I know there's a lot more turning radius when it comes to a wheel. You can get a good couple of rotations in that bitch. I only got 90 degrees. Enough of me complaining about my own problems here. Uh, let's go look at the replay. So we got eyes here on the 14 car, Sterling Marlin going down the front stretch before he got into the wall, and uh, whoa! 
I guess Boyer's just driving bullheadedly tonight, because that's the second time he's plowed into somebody. Granted, he was probably a lap car and maybe getting in his way a little bit, but damn Boyer, patience. We got a lot of work to make up on uh, this run here. We're a third into this race when we take this green flag. Once again, cost myself a lot of time on pit road. Green flag. Can't pass anyone till the start finish line. I'll be black flagged out of this shindig. That 37 car is going to be a helping hand all night. Unless he gets taken out. I know we got a fast car tonight. Damn it, we're just stuck back here in traffic. Oh, they're wrecking ahead of me. Another wreck. Oh, Gordon and Kenseth. That's not good. They were leading before they uh, pitted this last caution. We made it up to 20th. Definitely not going to pit this caution. But we'll see what happens here in a second once we get all sorted out here. We're in rush hour traffic right now. Any Halo fans watching the video? Taking a look at the replay here from Gordon's perspective. This is the corners before the caution here. On the back straightaway. Ooh! He got into Mark and Mark got back up into the... Oh, shit! It had nothing to do with Matt. Other than him getting collected in that. So we're coming out of turn two and he just bumps Mark Martin in the left rear quarter panel. That sends him to the inside of the wall and it shoots him right back up into the track into the 24. Mark gets back going fine. Gordon's ass pancaked the fucking wall. Taking a look at the onboard of the RNL Ford Fusion of Matt Kenseth here. Both him and Jeff Gordon were both charging up through the field after taking a pit stop that last caution. You see the 01 of Mark Martin coming back up the track, hooking the 24 and collecting Matt. Nowhere for him to go. And that leads us to caution number two at Myrtle Beach. Quite the action packed little short track we got going on tonight. Get the right telemetry up. We'll have 33 to go. Green, green, green. Green flag back at Myrtle Beach. Oh, oh, I locked up the brakes a little bit, but we, we saved her. Didn't get into anyone. Woo! Again? Something happened on the back straightaway. Damn it. Well, we gained a few more spots. That's how we're going to save fuel, I guess. Taking a look back at your cause of caution here, it was uh, Ricky Rudd in the 88 Ford Fusion Snickers car. Now, I'm not sure if you got any contact from another car, if you just blew a tire coming out of turn two here, but Gordon got right up on the outside of him and pinched into the outside wall in the backstretch, and Gordon gets hammered right in the ass end by Rudd's teammate in the M&M's car. Hefty damage on all three of those cars, especially the 38. Don't know what he was doing, but he was not paying attention to what his teammate and Gordon were doing up ahead. Take a look at the Pepsi onboard cam of Jeff Gordon in the 24 Chevrolet. Oh. Looks like Rudd might have just checked up and Gordon got into him. And then, oof, hard hit in the back for the 24. Pole Soder is not having a good day after he came down to pit that first caution. He's been collected and all sorts of shit. At least it's not me this time. Can't believe how hard that 38 smacked the back end of Gordon, though. He, I'm surprised he's still running down there. About to do restart number three here at Myrtle Beach. More cars are filling up that lap car lane down there on the inside. It's gonna cause for some more chaos. Green flag back out. I already gotta watch out for that 37 car. Oh, I got the cane. Keep the lap cars pinched. Cane, don't you pinch me. I mean, I know I bumped you, but don't pinch me off. Oh, got into the pit wall. We're okay. Oh, I'm sending her in. Oh, we're making it work. We're making it work. Get by the lap card. Oh, damn it. I don't need to be hitting this guy. We've already got enough issues together. Oh, poor Matt. He had a good race car tonight. Another slow car. Mark Martin got some damage. I didn't make a clean pass there, but we got by. 
Ooh, we're right behind God. Ooh, I gave God a tap on the booty. Three wide. That's the wrong guy to be pissing off right there. Get on the inside of him, chip down into third. Gun out of here, maybe. Got a pack of three up here. I think Sadler was the first car lap down. Oh, we sent her in a little deep there. I know we got a top 10 car. What you hit the brakes for? Oh, there's a wreck in front of me too. I was wondering why McMurray just slammed on the fucking brakes, but that was before the yellow flag dropped. That's his own freaking fancy haired fault. Like, I'm mad in the gas until that yellow comes out. And even then, in this rules package, you gotta mad until you cross the fucking start finish line. I got 16 laps estimated fuel, 18 to go. We're gonna be fine until the end of this one. Taking a look back at Slow Dick Conway here, and I'm sure he just got in someone's way and they just booted him right, yep. Got right in front of Kurt Bush, and he had no part in that. Took him right out. And in that, that resulted me getting in the back of 26. Yeah, he definitely checked up right there. There's no way he was just cruising out of that corner with a gun and load of speed. And then, ha, fuck you, Hamlin. I don't mean to hate on Denny Hamlin so much. It's just fun. Fuck you, Burton. What the fuck? Really was focused on getting by Kevin Conway there, because he's the one that's really checking up everybody. Got Sadler and Sauter up here, the other two lap cars. I'm pushing it three wide right now. Trying to follow him behind Jimmy. Oh, follow. I said follow, not get into. Burton, I'm not worried about you. Oh, no, Johnson's in the solder. That's another caution coming. Maybe? Oh, they just hit the pit wall again. That... Yep. I don't even what number of cautions that is now. Four? Five? Take a look at the replay here. I got into Jimmy a little bit, which got his nose up under the 70 of solder, and he just kept going up the track, and solder just turned into him, put him into the wall. They hit the wall again, which ejects him back out into the track, and that takes... Oof. Blocks the whole track, actually. Damn, we got a parking lot over here. Fingers crossed it stays green, because we don't do too bad on a long run. I just need the chance to get going. Don't know if we have enough to beat Truex. He seemed to be the class of the field tonight. Boyer's up there in second. He's been the wrecking ball of the field tonight. Early started out that way. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming to the green. Let's go get him. Did we just lose all of our lap traffic? Almost thought I was going to pass him. I did not want to get black flagged, especially all, after all that I've done to make up that bad pit strategy. Five laps left here at Myrtle Beach. Oh, I'm sending her in deep. Hung on to her. Oh. Didn't have room to get up the track. Trying to bump Harvick out of my way. Oh, it just slowed me down. Come on. We're all in a single file up here fighting for spots. Oh, what an intense battle. Oh, shit. I got my Yaley. Come on. That's at one spot. Coming down to three to go. Come on. Try and get a top five. Ooh, we sent her deep. I thought I was about to turn Harvick into the wall. Gave him a little tap. Took the inside. Oh no. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man! Are you fucking serious? We only had two left to fucking go! Son of a bitch. <sighs> Here we are coming down to the two to go. Me, Stuart, Harvick battling for position. At this point, I was in seventh, trying to go for a top five. 
dove it in deep. I was already roughing him up in the corner before, but I dove it in hard, and I just got stuck on the ass end of Stewart's car, which sent me up into Harvick, and, uh... Yeah, pretty much fucked my race again. Clearly can't be mad at anyone else but myself for that dumb shit. Should have just kept her easy for a top 10 fucking finish. Kept our consistency, but no, I wanted more. I wanted a fucking top five. Thought we were really gonna get a decent finish on one of these fucking short tracks. We climbed back for once into a top 10 spot after our setback. That's what pisses me off more than anything. Not getting a top five. I don't even care about not getting the win, but the fact that I crawled my ass all the way back up there, had a shot at a nice top 10 spot. And in that one final corner with two fucking to go, I gave it all away and we finished 21st. Guess we will hope for some better luck next week. We got Darlington, which isn't any easier, but gonna have to look forward after this shit. All right, now that I've taken some time to collect my emotions and calm down a little bit after that fucking bullshit, let's go over the points after Myrtle Beach. 10 races into our rookie season, and Kyle Busch is still your points leader. Martin Truex Jr., after a dominating performance, is slowly closing that gap down to seven points. And after that, it's quite the fucking drop to third place to uh, Jeff Burton. Now, he did gain a spot on Harvick, but as far as points go from second to third, I mean, we'll see how the rest of the season plays out, but it's looking like a two-man points race right now. We fall again outside the points after we had just gotten back in from our victorious win at Talladega. We fall right back out after a, a little bit of an antsy move on the last couple of laps at Myrtle Beach. That's completely on me, but I was just fucking pissed off because, goddammit, I want to have consistent good runs and make it to the chase and have a shot at the championship. I guess getting a win on the season is more than anything. I put more pressure on myself, damn it. I want top fives, top tens, wins, and nothing else. Anyway, take a look at the rest of your, your points here after Myrtle Beach. I hope you guys enjoyed the surprise of the custom short track at Myrtle Beach Speedway. I have a few more of those sprinkled out across the season. Subscribe if you want to see me continue on my NR journey because that's mainly what I'll be posting for the foreseeable future until this season finishes up. Next week we'll be heading on to Darlington, the lady in black. Other than that I don't have much else to say about Myrtle Beach. I'm putting this one behind me. Fuck this race. I love this track but fuck this event. The one that I just did. Let's move on. Hope you guys have a fantastic week. I'm gonna go take a walk or do something different now after this raging experience. I will catch you in the next video for Darlington. Peace out.